Welcome to HQ How To, your ultimate guide to caring for your home. Preserve your investment by following these essential home maintenance tips. Here's our customer experience manager to show you how to. Hey everyone, it's Josh Cave, the customer experience manager with Hunter Quinn Homes. Welcome to another HQ How To on how to install windborne debris panels. What you'll need for this one is your windborne debris protection. Two, you'll need any hardware that comes with that. First thing you want to do, safely climb up your ladder. You want to remove these four plastic covers that cover each of the threaded rods that's fastened to your home. Put those aside, you don't want to lose them, you will need those later. Next step, grab your windborne debris panel. You want to place it over each of those threaded rods. Be very careful leaving that there while you're stepping away from it. Take your hardware that's provided. Again, safely climb your ladder. You simply want to install these wing nuts onto the threaded rod, tightening them hand tight only. There's no need to put a wrench on these. Once you have installed all four wing nuts, your windborne debris board has been installed. To remove this, simply do the opposite. You want to remove your wing nuts, remove your panel, and reinstall your plastic protection pieces. These panels should be marked or labeled from your builder. So corresponding panel to a corresponding window. If they are not labeled, once you place them on the window, be sure to mark their location. For example, this is panel number two at bedroom number three. You may want to install these panels if we are experiencing or will experience a hurricane or in any high wind situation. Thanks for watching today. We look forward to sharing more home maintenance tips on the next HQ How To.